We have now how many attendees? 17 attendees. So let us start the lecture. So yes. in the morning we begin with the discussion on basic building block or components of a DSP, Digital Signal Processing System, and uh, the various blocks are transducer, then followed by analog anti-aliasing filter, followed by sample and hold system or unit or circuit, followed by analog to digital converter, followed by programmable device like microcontroller or processor or DSP, followed by digital to analog converter, followed by low pass reconstruction filter, then output is given to device like speaker. OK, and we we initiated a discussion. What should be the sampling rate? And we also discussed or we also gone through the statement given by the Macquist. It is also called sampling theorem. The statement given by the Nequist is also known as a sampling theorem. And now you know that as per the sampling theorem, the sampling frequency Fs should be greater than or equal to two times Fm, where Fm corresponds to the maximum frequency component of the interest present in the signal. So my signal may have various frequency component like 10 hertz, 20, 50 hertz, 100 hertz, 1000 hertz, 2000 hertz, 3000 hertz. Out of this, suppose I don't want to have any information regarding 3000 hertz, then 3000 hertz and 7000 hertz are not the frequency component of interest and that's why the lesser than that means some uh, uh, whatever it may be, say 700 hertz can be considered as the FM, maximum frequency component. And uh, for this FM, maximum frequency, what Nyquist is suggesting is the sampling frequency should be two times the FM, that is 1400 hertz at least. It's a minimum frequency. And as you go on increasing the sampling frequency, you will have more numbers of sample in given duration of time. Right. If I take sample at one second duration, then within 10 seconds, I will have 10 numbers of sample. But if I go on sampling with the rate 0.5 second, then in the same duration of 10 seconds, I will have 20 numbers of sample. So if you increase the frequency, there will be problem of storing the variable. Means it may be there depending on the application or the algorithm we are processing. So we may need more memory. We may need more computation power. That's the problem with increasing the frequency. Whereas if you lower down the frequency, then certain, then some value, then problem of aliasing will arise. So now we need to understand what is aliasing all about. What is aliasing all about? And before I before I start discussing that, let me let me inform you that this FM is also called Nyquist frequency. This is called Nyquist frequency means the maximum limit, maximum limit of maximum frequency component, component allowed in the signal, allowed in the signal. Sir, yes. Sir, have you shared your screen? Because it's not visible to us. Oh, scene is not shared. Then let me share it again. Uh, I may have forgotten it totally. Uh, yes, yes. Not so much uh, is written on the board. So now you can understand. See, FA is greater than or equal to two times FM. Whatever I have just spoken, that's all. Whatever I have narrated, that's all is written on the board. So this FM, this particular FM is the maximum limit. You, you don't expect any frequency component with frequency higher than FM. FM is the maximum frequency component we are assuming. Say yes or no. 
Okay, so alternatively, I can also write down FM should be less than equal to because this C. Now I am reforming this equation. I am reforming or rewriting this equation, and I want to write it for FM, right? So this two goes in the denominator of FS, and then. The arrow is towards FM. So now if I write down the equation for FM, then keeping the arrow at the same side, I can write down FM should be less than equal to. Khabar padhe jana hiya greater than avi do hiya less than kya avi ho? Khabar padhe jaye bhai badhan hai. FM should be less than equal to. Any doubt regarding this? No sir. Okay. So no, sir. FM should be less than equal to FS by two, where FS is the sampling frequency so if i am sampling the signal with the sampling frequency of 10 kilohertz if my fs is equal to 10 kilohertz it means that i should not have any frequency component i should not have any frequency component higher than higher than 5 kilohertz fs should be greater than Equal to two times FM means frequency maximum frequency component should be less than FS by two means anything beyond five kilohertz is not allowed. Are you able to understand it? खबर पढ़े जाए सुख आवश्यक बता ने हाँ why frequency component greater than five kilohertz is not allowed because this corresponds to something which is allowed. This is allowed. Right, FM should be less than equal to. It should be. I am not addressing it as it should not be. Eu na thi kaiu. Mesu kaiu she. FM should be less than equal to FS by two. So any frequency lesser than FS by two, that is five kilohertz, is allowed. So alternatively, can I say that any frequency higher than five kilohertz is not allowed? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. <laughs> so I think this is neat clear to everybody, and uh, looking to this, we can conclude that this is our maximum limit. This is our maximum allowed frequency. So this is also called limit frequency or Nyquist frequency. So if I ask you that uh, a signal is sampled at 50 kilohertz. What is the Nyquist frequency? Or if I give you multiple choice question, then you should be able to identify how much is the maximum frequency. Ah, uh, sorry, how much is the Nyquist frequency? Nyquist frequency is given by half the sampling frequency. Or if I give you the Nyquist frequency, you should be able to tell me the sampling frequency. Or if I give you the maximum frequency component. You should be able to choose the Nyquist frequency as well as the sampling frequency. Will you be able to do so? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So now let us try to understand what will happen when we sample the information, huh? because signal is now information. In the first, in the very be beginning lecture only, I I address the signal. or i gave the definition that signal is nothing but the information it is collection of information so if information is collected if information is sampled at rate lesser than certain value then there will be problem in and it's very natural it's very natural nothing new about it you might have played a game in the newspaper when some dots are given to you and you are supposed to join that dot to complete the diagram to complete the figure right so you will be joining the two dots by a straight line right so the appearance will not be a better one if i give you too few points if i give you less numbers of points but if i give you so many numbers of points Then the final figure will be exact one, or it will be more nearer to what we expect. Actually, can you understand? Say yes or no. Yes. Okay, it's it's natural thing. There is nothing new about it. So similarly, 
when i draw a sine wave or any signal say this is my sine wave and if i if i give you some points like here is a point here is a sample here is a sample here is a sample here is a sample here is your next 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 sample this one is your first sample or you may you may even discard it also so this is my first sample second third fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth okay now if i ask you to to draw the waveform then how will you join because you don't know the variation of the signal join it with a straight line and that's why the final appearance of the signal will be something like this do you agree with me say yes or no yes sir okay so is it the, is it representing you the x it is it is nearer but not exact one is it reflecting you the actual signal no hello yes it is it is not reflecting the actual actual signal but if now i increase total numbers of sample if i put one sample in between here right if i further take more numbers of sample and if now i join all these samples together it may give me a perfect sinusoidal signal or nearly perfect sinusoidal signal that's the same magic we we played in the game right in the game itself it means it's better to have more numbers of sample means it is better to have higher sampling frequency whereas if sampling frequency is lesser than certain it will create problem in the reconstruction now there are two things we want to we have two objectives in our mind first objective is that after sampling i will have digital information so that digital information should be such that it should give me the correct result as far as any algorithm is concerned so with respect to the algorithm i am going to implement i should have sufficient information sufficient information for signal processing in the digital domain right this is this is my first objective and second objective is i may have sufficient information but when i convert back it to the analog and when i process it through the analog low pass filter the reconstruction that is after smoothing the final waveform final information i may not get the result i desire or result i want so second objective should be reconstruction reconstruction what do you mean by reconstruction reconstruction is something you get after the reconstruction filter after the low pass reconstruction filter means the continuous time analog signal after processing the signal so once you process it and once you produce it back on the speaker or device similar to it the reconstruction should be perfect or reconstruction should have sufficient efficiency it should be error free or it should be having error as per our as per minimum expectation that it should not be the error should not be greater than certain value so these are the two targets in digital domain the look of the signal or the information of the signal should be sufficient and finally after reconstruction i should get a waveform i desire a waveform i want to have these are the two targets these are the two objectives okay and nakwi said that reconstruction will be will be having sufficient efficiency if this algorithm is followed if this algorithm is followed 
now let us leave the mathematics so let us leave the talk uh, let us leave the discussion about the reconstruction right now time being and let us talk about the first objective sufficient information in the digital domain okay whether we will be able to represent it with sufficient errors and efficiency or not so say x of t is a time domain signal x of t is a time domain signal and it is given by 10 sin 2 pi f t let's assume that angle phi is 0 now this f may be anything let's assume that this f is equal to say 500 hertz and if i want to sample this signal as per the nyquist theorem my sampling frequency should be at least greater than 1000 hertz but i want to analyze the effect the destroying effect the negative effect the problematic effect if this criteria is not followed so let me take a sampling frequency lesser than fs by 2 lesser than fs by 2 say i i am going to sample this signal by fs equal to 400 hertz are you following what we are doing exactly khabar pade che bhai badhane su kahu chu सिग्नल अगेन x of t equal to 10 sin 2 pi now i know that the frequency f is 500 hertz so i may write it down 500 over here or i may also write down 400 plus 100 because 400 plus 100 is 500 can i do this say yes or no am i allowed to do this 400 plus 100 is it mathematically yes, and sir. theoretically possible yes it is possible so now if i expand then i can write it down as 10 sin 2 pi into 400 t plus 2 pi into 100 t and what is t t is the instantaneous time t is the instantaneous time in discrete domain this is given by n into t s right say i am taking a first sample so n is equal to 0 so time t equal to 0 now so say i am i am sampling at at one uh, with the 1 kilo sampling frequency so second sample will be at 1 millisecond 1 by 1 kilo is 1 millisecond so n is 1 and ts is 1 millisecond so t will be 1 millisecond so it is giving me the correct information so in discrete domain the instantaneous time can be written by n into ts where n is an integer number representing the sample index x of 0 or x of 1 or x of 2 similarly and ts is the sampling time that we have assume constant and right now it is reciprocal of 400 hertz right ts is equal to how much right now it is assumed to be 1 by fs that is 1 by 400 hertz do you agree with me say yes or no yes sir okay so now let's see what happen wh what is happening over here by replacing instantaneous time t with the nomenclature we assume so this is just pi into 400 t plus 2 pi sorry uh let me write it down as 2 pi into 400 into n into ts because we we have assumed that right so n into ts n into ts what is n into ts n by fs because ts is 
reciprocal of sampling frequency. So n into 1 by fs. How much is the fs? 400 hertz plus 2 pi into 100 into n into 1 by 400 n into 1 by 400. Now there is no meaning because this is not going to be cancelled. So I may strictly write straightforwardly write it down as t only. So this becomes 10 sine 400, 400 will be cancelled. So this is ultimately 2 pi into n plus 2 pi into 100 into t. Now what is this 2 pi n? n is an integer number. So 2 pi n, if I think about it, then it is giving me the instant just after a cycle time. A cycle time is given by, cycle time in radian is given by 2 pi. When one cycle is completed, I can say that 2 pi is completed. So 2 pi n, say I am talking about t equal to 1 millisecond, right? If I add 2 pi into 1, into 1 millisecond, or if I add 2 pi into 2 into 1 millisecond, this is going to be to give me the same value of sine of this function available at 1 millisecond only because sine is a periodic signal. Or similarly, other signals holds the same identity means if it is periodic. So there is no meaning of writing down this 2 pi n and that's why I can write it down as 10 into sine 2 pi into 100 t. Tell me, am I allowed to write it down as this one or not? Is it okay for you to understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Signal, right? It repeats with 2 pi radian. So 2 pi n will not have effect. And that's why it can be eliminated. And that's why the final equation of x of t can be written as 10 sine 2 pi 100 t. Now, let me ask you a question. What is what is the frequency you can see here in this equation? How much it how much is the frequency? Hundred. Hundred. Yes. And what about the original signal? The original signal was having how much frequency? Five hundred. Yes. Originally. The signal was having 500 hertz frequency, but it is appearing to be having 100 hertz in the digital domain. See, we have sampled because we have used the uh, sampling time here. So this is actually representing the signal after sampling. So after sampling, it appears to be. It was of 500 hertz. So the sampling process itself is the cause of error. Originally signal was of 500 hertz and now it appears to be having 100 hertz to me, to the digital signal processor. So is it good or bad? Is it good or bad? Information sachi javi jaya ka khodi javi jaya. What do you say about error it? Error error. Yes, this is error. This is not expected thing. And this is called aliasing. Aliasing, the Gujarati of aliasing, the dictionary meaning of aliasing is no dhol chadao. Kasakni upar dhol chadao. Hoi sona, sona no dagi no hoi, eni par aapne dhol chadao hi diye. Hoi ke ek judu andar thi, ane bahar thi ke ek judu dekhai. Andar thi pittal hoi, ane bahar thi sonu dekhai. That is alias version. Aapne alias pan kahiye chhe, varavar ke Osama bin Laden alias. Itle ene ke ek bija naam thi keva tu hoi to. So original Originally, someone or something is different and it is appearing to be different. That's what the meaning of aliasing is. So you will not have the problem just in the frequency, but in the waves also. So waves. Waves, the mean, etc, etc can change after sampling if your sampling frequency is not properly selected. If it is lesser than fs by 2 and this phenomena, this bad phenomena rather, is known to be the aliasing effect. It is called aliasing effect. And 
time being we will be skipping some discussion on the aliasing because i want to teach you something else so and for the examination and for the better understanding of the subject you need to go into the details of aliasing and also something called negative frequency so i so i will be saying most uh, 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 of about uh, 35 or 40 minutes lecture okay so you go through it and try to understand what exactly we mean by the aliasing and the negative frequency but this is the problem and uh, we we are now going to discuss the solution this is the problem and we are going to discuss about the solution so what is the problem what is the problem let me rewrite the problem in different language or in different view or in different pers perspective we we had a frequency higher than we had a frequency that that was 500 hertz we had a frequency which was higher than fs by 2 yes or no aaj problem hato na na lidhe ja bodu thayo na ha ke na hello hello yes humne to kam li thi na हाँ हमने एफ एस बाई टू सैम्पलिंग की ली थी और ओरिजिनल कितनी थी 500 हर्ट्ज थी ये मैं बोल रहा हूँ वी हैड अ फ्रीक्वेंसी एक्चुअल फ्रीक्वेंसी ऑफ 500 हर्ट्ज एंड वी सैंपल इट विथ सैम्पलिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी सॉरी 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 इट वाज नॉट 500 हंड्रेड हाउ मच इट वाज इट वाज इट वाज हाउ मच कितनी थी बोलो ये तो हमने uh, uh, हमारी ओरिजिनल कितनी थी थाउजेंड थी सॉरी सॉरी हाँ ओरिजिनल वर्स थाउजेंड सो एफ एस बाई टू वर्स फाइव हंड्रेड हर्ट्स एंड वी हैव चूजन फ्रीक्वेंसी सैम्पलिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी टू बी लेसर देन दिस सो फोर हंड्रेड नहीं 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 कितना था भाई याद करके कोई बोलो हमने कितना लिया था लेट मी लेट मी री राइट इट ओवर हियर एक्स ऑफ टी एक्स ऑफ टी x of t equal to 10 sin 2 pi into into say thousand t. बराबर ये जो भी थी हम अभी फिर से ले लेते हैं बराबर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है और मैं अभी इसको 400 से सैंपल करने वाला हूँ तो 10 sin 2 pi thousand को क्या क्या लिख सकता हूँ 400 plus 600 लिख सकता हूँ ना into t How much is the sampling frequency we have assumed? 400. Fs is equal to 400 hertz. Original f was of 1000 hertz, right? So it appears to be how much? 10 sine. This 400 will cancel. So 10 sine 2 pi 600 t. So original signal was of 1000 hertz, and it appears to be 600 hertz. Is it okay for you? Say yes or no. समझ में आ रहा है क्या बोल रहा हूं यस सर ओके सो सो ओरिजिनल सिग्नल फ्रीक्वेंसी ओरिजिनल फ्रीक्वेंसी वाज 1000 हर्ट्ज एंड वी हैव चूजन द सैंपलिंग फ्रीक्वेंसी टू बी लेसर देन नेक्विस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी हाउ मच इज द नेक्विस्ट फ्रीक्वेंसी 500 हर्ट्ज सो एक्चुअल प्रॉब्लम वाज एफएस वाज सिलेक्टेड टू बी lesser than nequis frequency this is problem right it means that if we want to remove this problem if we want to eliminate the problem then either fs should be chosen higher than the nequis frequency that is one of the possible solution or there should not be any frequency component there should not be any frequency component higher than the bolo suavse 
higher than the decrease frequency. Either sampling frequency should be chosen. What is the solution? Let me write it down here, over here. Solution. Either the sampling frequency must be chosen. higher than the sampling frequency must be chosen higher than nequist frequency how much is the nequist frequency huh? F S by two, and what is the F M should be less than F M should be less than F S by two, right? Or else, the second option is there should not be there should not be any frequency component. Higher than Nyquist frequency, Fs by two present in the signal. यानी या तो मुझे ये thousand hertz वाले signal को five hundred से ज़्यादा से sample करना पड़ेगा. That is one of the possible solution. या तो ये originally thousand hertz होना ही नहीं चाहिए. अगर मैं four hundred लेता हूँ तो इसकी फ्रीक्वेंसी कितनी होनी चाहिए इसके अंदर 200 से ज्यादा वाला सिग्नल नहीं होना चाहिए 200 से ज्यादा वाला सिग्नल नहीं होना चाहिए आर यू फॉलोइंग से यस और नो हेलो यस सर यस सर बीजा बदा, बीजा बदा ने खबर पड़े शु कहू छू How many of you are actively attending? Let me let me guess it. Say yes one by one. Yes sir. 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 Okay, enough. So now I don't want any frequency. Higher than 200 hertz, right? For this example, for this particular example. So what I can do is I can remove the frequency component higher than 200 hertz. I want to remove. Let me write it down. I want to remove frequency component. Higher than. Fs by two. Do you agree with me? But our in general it is Fs by two. Do you agree with me? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So what should be the type of filter to remove the frequency component higher than Fs by two? Should be it be a low pass filter or high pass filter? Let us think about it. How will you explain the operation of low pass filter? What is low pass filter basically? It filters out the low frequency component, so it allows the high frequency component at output. Hmm? Is it like so? Say yes or no. No, it's wrong. What is low pass filter? It allows In low frequency lower component than selected to, frequency. To, uh, to appear at the output so output will be low frequency component input will be the mixture of low and high so high will be suppressed over here and low will be allowed lower than certain of course and exactly opposite will be the case for the high pass filter so it allows the high frequency to appear at output where input is mixture of low and high 
and no will be suppress this is what high pass filter is doing so i want to remove high frequency component so whose job is it low pass filter nu kaam che ke high pass filter nu kaam che bolo i want to have low, low frequency filter. component yes i want to remove high frequency component and i want to have low frequency component that's why this action can be fulfilled by a low pass filter so i have proven you that the type of filter for removing the effect called aliasing should be a low pass filter is there any doubt regarding the same kem low pass ho jaye do you have any doubt no sir okay please try to write down all the things i have taught to you in your notebook because later on you will forget how to explain the things in examination and this is not well discussed in any of the book so you are supposed to write it down right so note it down how will you write down you will first take the example of a signal say signal is of 1000 hertz and if i sample it with sampling frequency lesser than fs by 2 means that is uh, that is 500 hertz 500 se kam ke liye main usko sample kar raha hu say fs is 400 hertz then final frequency that i can see in the digital version of the signal digital version of the sample signal will be 600 hertz original signal was of 1000 hertz and now it appears to be having 600 hertz so this creates a problem and to remove this there are two option either i can sample it with frequency higher than 500 hertz or else i should not have any frequency component higher than fs by 2 that is 500 by 2 that is 250 hertz and that can be done if i remove all the frequency component all the high frequency component from my original signal and to do the same i need a low pass filter so this are the statements you will require to explain why the type of the anti aliasing filter should be a low pass filter why not high pass filter this may be the question in the examination please note it down somewhere in your notebook right okay now we are going to understand uh, several operations several operations on the dual signal itself so before that let me remind you something if u of t is a signal given to you how will you draw it you will draw it like this this is my u of t isn't it say yes or no ya aave chhe bada ne u of t control system ma tame aavi the draw karta hasho yaad aave chhe ke nahi yes sir so yes sir it's a step signal it is a step signal started appearing at time t equal to 0 and it will be there with a magnitude 1 forever then after up to infinite time so this is called unit step signal now the delayed version of this signal or advanced version of this signal can be drawn from it and it can be written as u of t minus tau if this instant is given by tau right and this is called right shifted signal this is called right shifted signal this is delayed version and advanced version can be drawn as this is tau so u of t plus tau this is left shifted signal one out of this is a causal signal and another one is non causal signal causal means which is possible practically which is possible to implement or realize and non causal is something which which cannot happen theoretically which is not possible to happen is called non causal 
So future signals that we don't know right now is non-causal. And signal already have appeared, may be known to us if we have sampled it. That's why those signals can be can be considered as a causal signal. So signal already have appeared is a causal signal. Signal which are yet to be appeared and still we don't know the nature of itself is a non-causal signal. Now, my question to you is why a right shifted signal can be written as u of t minus tau? Why not u of t plus tau? Can anybody explain me the reason behind? If you can remember, if this was discussed in the control system or any other subject. Are you clear with the question itself? I am asking you that why the right shifted signal is given by u of t minus tau. Why not u of t plus tau? This is the reason why, why I told you in the very first lecture that you, you know about the signal very less. That's why this, uh, this uh, particular subject is important to have. We are assuming that we, we know everything about the signal. We know frequency, we know RMS, peak, mean, etc. But that's not the case. Still, we have very little information about a signal and we want to characterize it. We want to know more about a signal. That's why this signal, this subject is there in your syllabus. So my question to you is why u of t minus tau is right shifted signal or why a right shifted signal is given by u of t minus tau? Why not u of t plus tau? Can you explain me? Okay, I am going to explain it to you in the digital domain and you may think about it later on in the continuous domain, right? Something I had already drawn is in was in continuous domain u of t. But if I explain it or if I write it down as u of n, then it becomes a signal in the discrete domain because n are the discrete moments n equal to 0, n equal to 1, n equal to 2, etc. So, if I name this signal u of n as x of n, then I can write down x of n equal to a curly bracket, means set of information 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, dash, dash, dash up to infinite. And this one is my first sample. That's why I can denote it as x of 0. This is my second sample, so I can denote it as x of one. This is my third sample, so I can denote it as x of two. Similarly, x of three. This one is x of four. If I draw it, then it starts from here. Here is my first sample. Here is my second, third, fourth, up to infinite numbers of sample. So this is my unit step signal in the discrete domain discrete unit step signal x of n equal to u of n and that's why i can write down in another form uh, this is array form so i can write it down as x of n equal to 1 for n Less uh, greater than equal to zero, and this is equal to zero for n less than zero. Any doubt regarding this representation? Can I write down like this? Say yes or no. A barabar chhe ampushi reosu. X of n equal to one for n greater than equal to zero. Huh? See, this is my n equal to zero. X of zero. It is 1 for n equal to 0. x of 1 is also 1 for n equal to 1. And n equal to 1 is obviously greater than n equal to 0. 
Similarly, here is n equal to two. So here also x of n is one as you are expecting. So can I write down this particular form? Say yes or no. Is it possible? Is it? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. This is possible. This is natural thing. We are just putting it into another form of representation. Nothing more than that. So this is my unit step signal. Now I want to delay it towards right side. I want to delay it towards right side. So something available at x of zero should be available at x of four. It should be available over here. It means the other four samples just before this should be equal to zero. Because I want to right shift it, right? Then one followed by one because this two, the second sample will go over here. This third sample will go over here and so on up to infinite time. So this becomes my right shifted sequence. X of something. Uh, we are going to define this shortly, right? X of something equal to 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1 for infinite time duration. So it is a right shifted signal. Right shifted signal. By. Shift. Equal to four samples. We have shifted it by four numbers of sample. One sample, two sample, three sample, four sample. We have shifted it towards right side by four numbers of sample. Something available over here, something available over here, x of 0, should be available as x of 5. Something available as x of 1 should be available as x of 6. Now, think about it. This should be equal to x of 5, huh? x of 5 in this. Say this is my new sample and this one is my old signal. So x new. Where is the pointer? OK. x new of something equal to x old of something. We need to define this relation. And you know that x of phi is equal to 1. x of phi nu equal to x of 0 old. Right? So how to do it? How to represent it? If I want to describe it in terms of x of n, Forget about old and new one. X of n. And if I subtract number four. Then this can give me the similar. Information I want to have. Let's think about it. When n becomes equal to four. This one is n equal to zero n equal to one. 2, 3 and 4. Sorry, this is 4. Huh? This is not 5. This is 4. When n becomes equal to 4, uh, it is delayed by 4 numbers of sample and numbering starts from 0. So this is my x of 4 actually. So when n is equal to 4, 4 minus 4 becomes 0. Means it will be asking for the x of 0, which is 1 as you can see over here. Do you agree with me? Khabar padhe su gau chu. N minus 4 lakhis. To aja hiya x of 0 ao se ena vagar nahi. Ane mare hiya x of 0 ad lava lo chai. X of 4 should be equal to x of 0. But this one is new and this one is old. X of 4 should be equal to x of 0. Where is x of 0? Over here. So how to do it? This 4 should be subtracted by the equal amount 
to have x of 0. 4 minus 4 is 0. Means I need to write it down as n minus 4, not as x of n plus 4. If I do it, n plus 4 karis to sudha se. Jara ya n equal to 4 lucky star, it will demand me for x of 8. I don't want to shift x of 8 in the original signal over here. No, I want to shift it from the x of 0. I want to shift x of 0 over here. That's why I need to write it down as x of n minus 4. Do you agree with me? Khabar padasha badana su Yes, sir. Any doubt regarding this particular? See, nobody or no book is going to explain you the reason behind this. I have used my own terminologies just to make you believe, just to give you idea why it is subtracted. If you know the reason, later on, if you forget, you will be able to recompile it. You will be able to reproduce it. Otherwise, you will do mistake. N minus 4 is again N plus 4 like so. Okay, Pachi, plus 4 is again minus 4 like so. Now you are clear that if I want right shifting, then the delay factor should be subtracted. And reverse is the case if I want to shift it towards left. So, a delay towards right, a delay towards right, is written to be x of n minus n, where n is the delay. Now this is actually right shifting. And de delay towards left can be written as n plus capital N. This is my left shifting. Okay. Now one out of this is a causal and another one is non-causal, as we have already discussed. Now let us discuss the reason why one out of this is causal, another one is non-causal. Say there is a process of shifting, there is a digital system which is shifting the signal. This is my digital system, right? Digital system. Here is the input x of n and here is the output y of n. This digital shift system is actually shifting the signal either towards right or towards left. Let us assume like that. Real system ganu badu kari sake atare je tamne batali real system che it is supposed to shift the signal. So y of n can be written as x of n minus n right for a moment and later when later on we will be thinking about y of n equal to x of n plus 4. Chalo vichari eke jo au kartu hoi to sutha se. Y of n equal to x of n minus 4. Let's assume n equal to 0. So y of 0 is equal to how much? x of 0 minus say delayed amount is 3. I am shifting it by 3 numbers of sample. So y of 0 is equal to x of minus 3. What is x of minus 3? See, this is x of 0. This one is x of 1. This is x of 2. This is x of 3. This is not x of minus 3. So what do you mean by x of minus 3? Can you tell me? What is x of minus? 0? No, it will be towards left side of x of 0. It will be towards left side of x of 0. x of 0 ke bhi pehle jo tha, barabar, yaha dikhaya nahi gaya hai, lekin iske pehle bhi jo tha, x of 0 ke pehle jo yaha pe tha, it is my x of minus 1. A sample time before x of minus 1, I was having x of minus 2. And a sample time before x of minus 2, I was having x of minus 3. So this is actually a past sample with respect to n equal to 0. n equal to 0 is over here. You are at the moment n equal to 0. And the system is asking to recollect x of minus 3 means the previous simple, the sample already have available, already gone through this system. So is it possible to recollect the things? Tamar jode koi kanubav thai gayo hoi. Barabar shay. To tamar na recollect kari sako ha ke na? Kari sako ke nahi? Is it possible to recollect 
સમથિંગ ઓલરેડી હેપન ટુ યુ સવારે દળભાત ખાતા ખાધા હતા એવું તમને યાદ આવી શકે ખરું હું એમ નથી કહેતો કે દરેક વખતે આવે પણ ઇઝ ઇટ પોસિબલ ટુ રિમેમ્બર ઓર રિકલેક્ટ દેટ યુ હેવ યુ હેવ ઈટ દાલ એન્ડ બટ ઇન મોર્નિંગ ઇઝ ઇટ પોસિબલ ફોર યુ પોસિબલ યસ ઇટ ઇઝ પોસિબલ બીકોઝ ધ ઇવેન્ટ હેઝ ઓલરેડી હેપન બટ કેન યુ શ્યોરલી ટેલ મી દેટ આફ્ટર વન યર ઓન ધ સેમ ડે યુ વિલ ઈટ દાલ એન્ડ બટ ઓનલી can you can can you tell me this this one no, no sir. you can't because this is futuristic event you cannot say anything about future no one is knowing future kal na dalbat khata pehla hu mari pan jao eu pan bani sake ane kal kal dalbat banvani jagya kai biju bane eu pan bani sake akha india madi dal ne bhat khatam thai jaye eu pan bani sake gamme te thai sake we don't know anything about future we can predict it and we require to predict the future that's different thing but theoretically it is not possible to predict anything about the future it is for sure and that's why that's why if if any out of these two if anything out of these two system right shifting and left shifting will demand for the future sample then i will then i am going to declare that system as a non causal system right now it is demanding for past sample that's why this is causal system so right shifting is causal one right shifting is causal one what about the left shifting when i put n equal to 0 y of n becomes equal to x of 0 plus 3 that is x of 3 where is x of 3 x of 3 is over here when you are talking about x of uh, when you are talking about n equal to 0 so you are at this moment n equal to 0 and you want to have knowledge about x of 3 how is it possible is it possible for you can you predict the sample at n equal to 3 when you are sitting on n equal to 0 no not at all it's not possible do you agree with me say yes or no લેટર ચેપ્ટર એન્ડ ધેન યુ વિલ અમે યુ વિલ બી અમેઝ એન્ડ યુ વિલ નોટ બી એબલ ટુ એગ્રી દેટ વાય પ્લીઝ મેક નોટ ઓફ ધીસ ઇન યોર નોટ બુક દેટ right shifting is a causal process whereas no left shifting of the signal is a non causal operation it's not possible it's not possible means it's not possible practically to realize in mathematics you are allowed to write down right but it's not possible to implement it in the real system that's why it is non causal okay now i am going to introduce a new symbol for you and it will be discussed in more detail when we will be discussing the z transform that is your i think third chapter in the syllabus so a right shifting is represented by z raised to minus i have a signal x of n minus k it becomes y of n equal to x of n into z raised to minus k so it is equal to x of n minus k please make note of this this is right shifting this one is right shifting okay and similarly if i have a signal and i pass through it a system represented by z raised to k it will give me y of n equal to x of n into z raised to k that is equal to x of n plus k is actually left shifting 
please make note of this please please draw the symbol draw the system put z raised to minus k inside and write down note down everything i have just written on the board take a step at least okay so this is same z variable as it will be taught in the chapter for the z transform but right now it is sufficient to understand that z raised to minus k is a delay towards right and z raised to k is a delay towards left so if i want to find out if i want to find out x of 2 x of 2 or if i want to find out a signal delayed by two sample then mathematic mathematically i can multiply the original signal by z raised to that delay how much was the delay assume say three delays three three numbers of sample then i can write down x of n into z raised to minus 3 so it becomes x of n minus 3 please remember please do remember this this is very important concept that will be used throughout the discussion of dsp okay now let's try to understand another operation call convolution this is very important concept or the process and it can help you to find out the response of a system if you are given a system this is your digital system right if you know the input input sequence x of n now you know x of n is not a sample it's a set of sample that's why it is a sequence all the samples of x of n are described by set of information put it into the curly bracket right say first sample is 1 volt the second sample is 3 the third sample is minus 5 so on so this is what x of n if i want to find out the output of system y of n it can mathematically be represented as y of n equal to x of n convolved with impulse response of digital system say impulse response of digital system is given by h of n i am going to tell about this impulse response so please wait for a while but let's assume that the impulse response can also be written as numbers of samples h of n equal to 1 comma 2 comma -7 etc now it's not a strict rule that uh, you must have the same numbers of sample into h of n as that of the x of n no not at all x of n may have infinite samples or it may have a uh, five numbers or 10 numbers or 20 numbers of sample whereas h of n may have three or two or five or even 50 numbers of samples so h of n which is series of information is actually impulse response of my digital system then y of n can be mathematically written as y of n equal to x of n convolved with h of n this is symbol for convolution this is linear convolution there are two types types of convolution linear convolution and circular convolution so i'll be denoting linear convolution as simple star and a star with a circle around will be used for circular convolution convolution right now we are discussing about the linear convolution later on we will also discuss the circular convolution huh? please don't think about what is this term circular and linear and convolution this is going to be clear to you within a while please wait for the for for some time to understand this i am just elaborating the mathematical representation right now 
So if output is denoted by y of n, if input is given by x of n, if impulse response is given by h of n, then output can be written as y of n equal to x of n convolved with impulse response of the system h of n means x of n star symbol h of n. Okay, so this is like a statement and we need to prove it. We need to understand it. So let's assume or uh, let's try to understand it. Yeah. We want to understand convolution. So first of all, we need to forget about it. What is, uh, we don't know any word like convolution. Abhi hum kuch jante hi nahi hai ki convolution jaisi kuch cheez hai. Aisa hum assume karte hai. And then I am going to show you how you can uh, derive our equation that is just similar to the equation of convolution and can be used for finding out the response of the system. That's the way how anything can be proven. Pehle maan lena padta hai ki aisa kuch hum jante nahi hai. Then go on deriving and find out the similarity. Like for an example, if you know the Maxwell originally published a paper in which there was a conclusion taken, there was, there was a conclusion derived that light is an electromagnetic wave. Light is an electromagnetic wave. So how he realized it? उसने ऐसा कैसे ढूंढा था तो उसने वो डिराइव करता गया डिराइव करता गया करता गया करता गया एंड फाइनल इक्वेशन दैट वाज देयर फॉर लाइट वाज जस्ट सिमिलर टू दी और वाज हैविंग ऑल दी प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव एंड दैट्स व्हाई ही कंक्लूडेड दैट द लाइट इज एन इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फिनोमिना सो इफ वी वांट टू प्रूव दैट बाय यूज ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ कन्वोल्यूशन वी विल बी एबल टू फाइंड आउट द रिस्पांस ऑफ द सिस्टम देन वी फर्स्ट नीड टू Forget about any term like convolution. हम जानते ही नहीं है कि convolution क्या है हमको पता ही नहीं है कि convolution क्या है और अभी हम natural way में layman की language में उसको पढ़ने की कोशिश करेंगे Layman की thought process के हिसाब से सोचने की कोशिश करेंगे कि if you are given a system, how will you find out the response of the system? And is it matching with the equation of convolution or not? That's the way how इक्वेशन ऑफ कॉन्वोल्यूशन कैन बी प्रूवन आर यू फॉलोइंग समझ में आ रहा है क्या बोल रहा हूं समझ में आ रहा है भाई हाँ या ना बोलो कुछ तो पता चले अभी भी सिंपल तरीके से समझाओ तो टू इंटू टू फोर होते हैं ऐसा कैसे मान लिया तो एक्चुअली टू इंटू टू मीन्स यू आर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू बाई टू टाइम्स मीन्स वॉट वॉट इज दीनिंग ऑफ टू इंटू टू यू आर एडिंग नंबर टू फॉर टू टाइम्स टू इंटू थ्री मीन्स वॉट यू आर एडिंग नंबर टू फॉर थ्री टाइम्स So go on adding it. Two plus two plus two is how much? It is six. And if two into three results into six, it means that the process of multiplication can be represented as series of summation. Do you agree with me? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So something similar we are going to do over here. Huh? पहले तो मैंने आपको ये सोचने के लिए बोला. कि आपको आपने ऐसी कोई टर्म सुनी ही नहीं है कि कन्वोल्यूशन क्या है और हम देखने की कोशिश करेंगे कि सिस्टम का रिस्पांस कैसे ढूंढेंगे और बाद में उसको कन्वोल्यूशन के इक्वेशन के साथ मैच करेंगे दैट्स अ वे हाउ एनीथिंग कैन बी प्रूवन ओके सो लेट्स लेट्स लेट मी ड्रो अ सिस्टम ओवर हियर नाउ i am going to excite i am going to excite the system with an impulse this is my digital system and i am going to apply an impulse over here so x of n can be written as x of n equal to curly bracket 1 and then 0 0 
up to infinite time. So one is available just at a moment. At n equal to zero only, you have x of n equal to one. Otherwise, x of n equal to zero. So can I say that this uh, this is similar to applying an impulse in in continuous domain? In impulse is a waveform or impulse is a is a signal with strength or with amplitude to be infinite and available at time t equal to zero only. But in digital domain, we cannot have infinite strength signal in the signal having infinite amplitude. No, this is not possible. So in digital domain. we are defining the impulse to be a signal with 1 volt amplitude with 1 volt amplitude and available at just one moment so can i say that if i apply a sequence like this actually i am applying an impulse can i say that say yes or no one is available at just one moment only mai ye keh sakta hu ki maine impulse di ha ya na ha if i draw it then one is available over here only see this is of 1 volt at n equal to 0 and at other moments of time the input is strictly zero so i can say that i have applied the impulse and now from the time n equal to 0 i have started recording the output also main jaise ye impulse deta hu maine kya kiya output ko record karne ki bhi shuruaat kar di ki n equal to 0 pe output kya aaya hua tha n equal to 1 pe output kya aaya n equal to 2 pe output kya aaya n equal to 3 pe output kya aaya n equal to 4 pe output kya aaya n equal to 5 pe output kya aaya barabar so can you tell me that what will be the pattern of this output will it be available for infinite time duration will it be available for finite time duration will it be available for just a moment or will it be available for moment more than one what's your expectation about the output agar input mein ek hi instant pe deta hu to output mujhe kitni alag alag instants pe milega n equal to 0 pe mil sakta hai ha ya nahi mil sakta hai puch raha hu can i get uh, output yes i i can i can expect i can expect an instantaneous reflection at the output jaise hi main input deta hu output mujhe shayad mil bhi sakta hai na bhi mile wo alag baat hai lekin mil bhi sakta hai it's possible may i get or will i get the output at n equal to 1 can i get output see this all questions are different can may etc etc and i think you are clear with this different terminologies so now my question is is it possible to get output of the system at moment n equal to 1 is it possible is it possible see at n equal to 1 you don't have any input no बोलो और लोग क्या बोलते हैं अगर नो या हा कुछ भी है तो क्यों आप ये बोल रहे हो ये भी आपको डिस्क्राइब करना है ट्राई टू डिस्क्राइब द रीजन एनी बडी सी आई एम टीचिंग यू विद फिलोसॉफी आई एम नॉट फोर्सिंग यू टू बिलीव एनी थिंग यू मे क्रॉस क्वेश्चन यू मे डिनाई बट यू मे डिनाई विद If we don't have any input, then how can we have any output? That's your argument that I'm going to prove wrong. Anyone else? She said that we don't have input. That's why we we won't have output. A simple logic, but systems are not always simple. Systems are not always simple. Anyone other than Ria, bolo. Or, koi kuch bolna chahega? Output milega ki nahi? N equal to one pe. Is it possible? What do you say, Dharav? So possible, the we make it because system defined ka ki. 
Uh, yes, he has a very good and valid point. We don't you don't have yet defined the system. We don't know uh, what is there inside the system. That's why we can't say anything about this question. But suppose I want to say that yes, it will be available or it can be available. Do you have any reason for the same? ऐसी कोई भी सिस्टम आपके दिमाग में है जो आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस कर सके इनपुट ना हो तब फॉरगेट अबाउट द डिजिटल सिस्टम इट मे बी एनालॉग सिस्टम एज वेल ऐसी कोई सिस्टम आपके दिमाग में है कि जब इनपुट ना दिया हो तब भी आउटपुट प्रोड्यूस करती हो ऐसी कोई सिस्टम आप जानते हो आप डिजिटल सिस्टम तो नहीं जानते हो क्योंकि सब्जेक्ट इज जस्ट इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू बट एनी सिस्टम दैट कैन प्रोड्यूस आउटपुट विदाउट इनपुट इज इट पॉसिबल any system you know it but but you can't figure out it means right now you can you are not able to find it out that's what my point is but you know it very well it's a very famous thing in electrical engineering it's a very famous component in the electrical engineering or there are more than one there are two components rather which can do the same now can you tell me which are those components inductor and capacitor yes just because i i use the term components it reveal everything see see the magic and beauty of the nomenclatures and technical terms we are using when i say component it is creating a picture inside your mind if i say app, uh, apparatus then it will create an another type of image in your mind so each word has a particular meaning just by a word you can send your message to other to other people to other person that's why words are really important and that's why you need to be choosy for choosing the word right do you agree with me say yes or no yes sir try to try to remember the technical terms huh? so yes of course if uh, if i have a capacitor and if i apply an impulse signal and if i remove the input then also i will get get the output the capacitor will discharge if there is a discharging circuitry across it slowly slowly and if there is no discharging path available to it and if it's a pure capacitor means without any leakage you will have the output up to infinite time it will not discharge so if you measure the voltage across it it will be at the same value for infinite amount of duration do you agree with me how kai yaad chhe na capacitor babat hai yes sir okay means if system has energy storage components in other terms if system has differential terms because capacitor and inductors are represented mathematically by the differentiation term ic equal to c dv by dt and similarly e equal to l di by dt so if system has differential terms means it has energy storage or storage components in case of continuous time signal it is storage components like capacitor and inductor in case of dl system it's some memory Huh? the samples can be stored inside the computer memory in the controller memory so that stored information behaves as a differential term or the energy storage systems in the continuous time signal so if my system do have such components then it may produce output even after removal of the input that's what the meaning is and if you are agreed then i can give you an example of h of n let's assume h of n is equal to 3 2 and 1 and then it becomes zero then again zero and then zero 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 up to infinite time so a single impulse of 1 volt is producing 3 at n equal to 0 2 at n equal to 1 and 1 at n equal to 2 so this is called impulse response of this system because we have applied the impulse that's why something we get as a response is known to be 
impulse response of the system. And it's easy to record the output, right? Connect an oscilloscope over here or ADC and measure whether how much is the value of the output when I'm exciting the system with an impulse. So now you know two things, your input as well as the impulse response. So what? So what? Just try to remember something you have learned in the control system. A theory explaining the control system subject tells us that system has two kinds of response, free response and force response. So force response is something when input is available and free response is something which is available without energy, without any excitation. Even if the input is removed, system may oscillate for certain time duration and that's known to be the natural response or zero input response for this system. Free response and a force response. Bolo free response kone kewa and a force response kone kewa. Kone kewa force response. Please repeat my words. When our, when input is applied. Ah. The we response. are writing down or we are noting down the output of the system when input is applied. That's called force response. You are forcing something at the input. That's why it is called force response. What about the free response? The output which is available to us even when the input is zero. Yes, even when input is zero, but available because of the storage inside the system. Storage inside the system, right? That's called free response. OK, now. If this is a linear system, let's assume that it's a linear system. Say this is a linear system. So if one produces three to end one. Then what will be the output if I I had applied two instead of one, two then followed by zero, then zero, then zero, then zero. Impulse of two volt. What's your expectation? Output kya aega? Bolo. Agar one ki jaga pe maine two volt input diya hota, to output kya aega? Bolo. Are linear system? To one. Yes, because it is linear. It is not non-linear. That's why a linear system always obeys two principles. That is principle of superposition and principle of homogeneity. We will be discussing about homogeneous system and uh, the application of superposition theorem if you are not knowing, but but you must be knowing. And I am assuming that you are knowing these things. So. Assuming that it will be linear means instead of three, you will have output six, three into two, because two is double than one. And yes, you are lucky. So, you have to take the number of Yes, nine. So, it will be scaled by the factor. The new input is scaled with respect to the previous input. Pellana input karta a ketla gano she etla gano output house. So output will be six comma six comma four comma two. Do you agree with me? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. Acha, chal. Avapre biju example here. Avapre biju example here. Mari pass a free wheel chair. Suja paiduce. Paidana center mati fit karelue. This is my hand. I draw a hand. So we will start rotating, rotating in the anti clockwise direction. I will draw a hand. 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 Hakena. 
એ તો નેચર વસ્તુ છે ને સ્ટોપ ના થવા દેવું હોય તો મારે ફરી ધક્કો મારવો પડે સો સપોઝ બીકોઝ ઓફ વન 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 ટાઈમ ફોર્સ બીકોઝ ઓફ ધી ફોર્સ અપ્લાઈડ એટ એન ઈસ્ટર્ન ઇટ હેઝ ટ્રાવેલ ફ્રોમ ડિસ્ટન્સ એક્સ વન ટુ ડિસ્ટન્સ એક્સ ટુ સો વેન ઇટ રીચીઝ ટુ એક્સ ટુ આઈ અગેન નીડ ટુ અપ્લાય ધ ફોર્સ and suppose i am applying the same force as that was before so how much time it will take to to be available at x3 when distance between x2 and x3 and x1 and x2 are same x1 and x2 vachche nu distance and x2 and x3 vachche nu distance sarku hoy to aa vakate x2 thi x3 pherava mate mare ketlo force aapvo pade question samjhay che the distance between x1 and x2 the peripheral distance is let's say 0.3 uh, cm so i again want to move it by the 0.3 cm how much force i need to apply when it reaches to the point x2 x2 par pahunchi jaye pachi mare pacho dhakko lagadvano hoy to ye dhakko ketlo hovo joye जितना पहले दिया था उतना जितना पहले दिया था उतना नेचुरल सी बात है बराबर लेकिन मैं ये बोल रहा हूं कि अभी मैं x2 पे अप्लाई नहीं करना चाहता हूं मैं यहीं कहीं अप्लाई करना चाहता हूं तो व्हाट डू यू से कितना फोर्स लगाना पड़ेगा कितना फोर्स लगाना पड़ेगा बिकॉज द व्हील हैज सम मोमेंटम so i need to apply little force to move it up to x3 do you agree with me say yes or no yes sir yes it's very simple kind of example i am giving to you nothing new nothing nothing uh, serious or anything which requires uh, logic level of the scientist scientist jaisa dimag le rakhne ki iske andar koi zarurat hi nahi hai these are all natural things right तो अगर वन वॉल थ्री टू वन प्रोड्यूस करता है बराबर तो अगर मेरा नया इनपुट मानो कि वन नहीं है लेकिन वन के बाद टू है उसके बाद पॉइंट फाइव है तो इनपुट तो आउटपुट क्या आएगा चलो ये प्रिडिक करने की कोशिश करते हैं इट इज लाइक यू हैव अप्लाइड फोर्स टू द व्हील एट एन इक्वल टू जीरो and that's why as i know the output impulse response i can write down the output available because of this one will be 3,2,1 1 now the new force is applied at n equal to 1 so i will have to write the output because of this 2 from here so 2 ki wajah se kitna output milega 6 because 3 into 2 is 6 right then 2 into 2 is 4 and 1 into 2 is 2 do you agree with me ye ye wheel pura move hua hi nahi tha uske pehle wapis force lagaya abhi force particular force kitna output dega wo to aapko pata hai because you know the impulse response so because of this 2 you should get because of this 2 alone 1 ki presence mein nahi bol raha hu because of this 2 alone you should get 6,4,2 do you have any problem to accept this one no ye 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 one ki wajah se mil raha hai barabar this is because of x of 0 this is because of x of 1 x of 1 ki wajah se a equal to 0 pe to kuch nahi mil raha hai kyunki wo us time pe available hi nahi tha to milega kahan se lekin at n equal to 1 we have a new sample equal to 2 so it will start its own contribution in the output from n equal to 1 so yes each individual samples are giving their contribution like each stroke on the wheel was contributing something in displacement of the wheel so similarly over here each sample will be contributing in the final output do you have any problem to accept this one bolo isme koi ये बिलीव करने में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होना चाहिए सो सिमिलरली इफ इफ आई वांट टू फाइंड आउट द कंट्रीब्यूशन बिकॉज ऑफ एक्स ऑफ टू हाउ मच इट विल बी 
zero over here because at this moment n equal to zero, point five was not available. Similarly, at n equal to one also it was not available. But at n equal to two, this is available. So what about the output? What about the contribution? Yes, one point five. One point five one one zero point five. Then one and then point five. So these are the individual contribution because of x of zero, x of one, and x of two. Now, how much will be the final contribution? How much will be the final output of the system? Can you tell me? Can you tell me? ये it is similar to the wheel example, हाँ? Huh? Wheel में बीच में कहीं से ऐसे आपने ठप्पा लगा दिया, बराबर नया post दे दिया. तो उस time पे output कितना आएगा? Displacement कितना आएगा? Because of the first input plus because of the new input. तो बोलो final output क्या आएगा? Can you tell me? <laughs> it's not new thing everything can can be assumed can be can be understood by the physical examples and that's my way of teaching what's your expectation bolo pehla output kitna aayega 3 yes you are correct but 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 only riya is responding Only Ria is responding. What about the second at n equal to two? Bolo, kya aega output? Eight. Eight. Ha. Ar taru naamu buli jao shu kaam. Shu naam taru buli kio? Anuj. Yeah. Anuj bolia na chale? Ke Ria boli paashi? Na boli sir. Acha. Bolo Biju ko ek bolo. Dharav Anuj ana Ria Siva ko ek bolo. नयन बोलो नयन बोल से नयन बोलो के आउटपुट आउट फर्स्ट टाइम आई विल गेट थ्री सेकंड टाइम आई विल गेट एट थर्ड टाइम आई विल गेट सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव यस तो आवे तो बोलता के छ पॉइंट पांच समेसन ऑफ ऑल दीज थ्री राइट सीमिलरली इफ आई सम दीज टू देन इट विल बी थ्री देन पॉइंट फाइव so you now know the way how you can find out the response of the system for an arbitrary input yes this one which one this one is my arbitrary input 1, 2.5 it may be random but if i know the individual samples i will be able to tell you about the final output of the system provided that i'll be knowing it i'll be knowing the output of system for an application of impulse agar main impulse ke liye janta hu ki kya output aayega to main baki koi bhi type ke input ke liye chahe sine wave ho input mein chahe triangular ho chahe aisa kuch random signal ho koi bhi type ka signal mujhe de diya jayega then i'll be able to predict the output of the system by this way by this way so this gives us hint about the final equation to find out the system's response can you tell me what exactly we have done over here aap repeat kar sakte ho humne humne yahan pe kya kiya to find out the contribution of x of 0 bolo pehle x of 0 ka contribution dhoonda uske baad x of 1 ka contribution dhoonda uske baad x of 2 ka contribution dhoonda or then we have added all the individual contribution to find out the final output so can you tell me how to find out the individual contribution individual contribution mujhe kaise milega bolo if x of n is given to me this is my first sample then followed by second sample then third sample then fourth sample then fifth sample huh how will you have find out the individual contribution provided that you know the impulse response h of 0 h of 1 h of 2 let us write down individual contribution because of contribution 
of x of 0 equal to you need to describe it mathematically bolo kya aayega x of 0 ka contribution kya aayega h of n minus h of 0 h of n minus h of 0 that's what no, the contribution minus, is minus minus h of 1 comma h of 2 तो उसमें x तो आया ही नहीं हमने देखा ना इंपल्स के लिए जानते हैं तो अगर इंपल्स की स्ट्रेंथ 1 नहीं और 2 होगी तो इसको स्केल करना पड़ेगा तो फाइनल इक्वेशन मस्ट हैव द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ x ऑफ n एट दैट मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम तो वो तो आपके इक्वेशन में आती ही नहीं है तो ये कैसे वैलिड है कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ x ऑफ 0 कैन बी अंडरस्टूड एज x ऑफ 0 Element wise multiplication with h of n. Do you agree with me? Agar yahan pe 1 hai, the output aapko h of 0, h of 1, h of 2 jitna hi milega. Say this is 1, 3, 5. Barabar? Or agar ye x of 0, 1 hai, the output kya milega? 1, 3, 5 hi milega. Lekin agar ye 1 nahi hai, 2 hai, the output kitna milega? 2, 6, 10. Means it is x of 0 multiplied with h of n. Do you have any problem to accept this one? No, sir. Yes, of course. So similarly, can you tell me the contribution of x of 1? Bolo, kya aayega? Chalo, pehle, pehle, pehla, ek, ek factor bolo. In do, ye do chije aayegi. Pehli chije kya aayegi? x of 0 aayegi. x of 0 आएगा पहले क्या आएगा will there be any x of 0 in finding out the contribution of x of 1 what do you say no no dharav dharav awaj no to samjhay lo ke dekh ek mic chalu kar di to pan awaj no to aayo so contribution also that we can niche je apra multiply kar so individual multiplication like contribution of x of 0 is n u j equals aju apne summation to karyu j nahi aju apne individual contribution sodhi raha chhe to ahiya x of 0 aave ke nahi aave what do you say yaad karo ke aa aa dharo ke tamaro 1 chhe pachi aa 2 chhe pachi aa 5 chhe आ सात छे या त्रोण छे तो आ टू ने तमे कोनी जोड़े मल्टीप्लाई करता था आनी जोड़े मल्टीप्लाई करता था बराबर टू फाइंड आउट द कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ x ऑफ 1 वेयर यू यूजिंग x ऑफ 0 एट द सेम मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम नो सर वी वर पुटिंग 0 मींस व्हाट आई मस्ट राइट डाउन x ऑफ 1 ओवर हियर बट इज इट सफिशिएंट टू x ऑफ टू राइट x ऑफ 1 आर यू मल्टीप्लाइंग h ऑफ 0 h ऑफ 1 एंड h ऑफ 2 like this, 2 over here, then 2 over here, then 2 over here. Is it like that? No. You need to shift the sample. The first sample should be taken as 0. This 2 is multiplied, but then after multiplying x of 1 and h of n, you need to shift it. The final product of this particular should be shifted by one sample. Do you agree with me? Say yes. Sir. Yes, sir. Similarly, if I write down the contribution of x of 2, then it can be written as x of 2 shifted by two samples. Yes, by two samples. And so on. And then I need to, I need to sum up all these individual responses to get final output y of n. So y of n can be written as summation n equal to 0 to a particular value, say n minus 1, x of something into h of something. Let's let me take k 
over here any value other than n but it should reflect it should be reflected as n so i am i want to find out for n equal to 0 so over here i should i i should use k and n minus k now you try to release this bracket it can be written as suppose this n is so i can release this equation as x of 0 into h of how much k is 0 right now and n is 0 right now so x of 0 into h of 0 plus x of 1 into h of 1 plus sorry ha huh, yes because k is 1 right and this k is also 1 so this is h of minus 1 do you agree with me h of minus 1 because n is equal to 0 why n is equal to 0 because you want to find out for y of 0 so n is equal to 0 so it must be x of 1 into h of minus 1 khabar pade su kahun chu ane release kare to ha ke na yes sir to pachi jo khabar padti hai to ahiya bolo ahiya mare su lakhvano x of x of 2 yeah And what? And h of, h of minus two. Minus two plus x of three into h of minus three minus plus. Now, now this is as capital N is equal to four. Four minus one is three. So it is sufficient to expand this equation up to three only. Now let us think about the solution. Is there any h of minus one right now? So h of zero only. That's why h of minus one is zero. Similarly, h of minus two is also zero. H of minus three is also zero. We have started recording the output of system just at the application of impulse. That's why we don't know. About h of minus one, h of minus two, and h of minus three, and it was not available also. Came available nothi. Can't give a kind of input at no do. And as system discharge state mathi, that's why h of minus one equal to h of minus two equal to h of minus three equal to zero. So if all these three are zero, then this equation, this expansion will deduce to x of zero into h of zero alone. x of 0 into h of 0 alone barabar che ha ke na yes sir ha ave yaad karo ke apne jara output sotta tha tare su karta tha ha suppose the individual contribution is written as as 1,3,5 then 2,6,10 then 3,9,15 and then you, if you are summing up then this particular is zero this particular is zero so you only need x of 0 into h of 0 to find out y of 0 do you agree with me say yes or no huh? this is my y of 0 to to find out y of 0 i need to add each and every element of this column to find out y of 1 i need to add these two numbers to find out y of 2 i need to add these three numbers so y of 1 equation should have two numbers of h like h of 0 and h of 1 but y of 0 should have only one h that is h of 0 do you agree with me khabar pade ja su kahu chu yes sir so h of minus 1 and h of minus 2 and h of minus 3 as you can see in this table is also zero and that's why y of 0 can be finded out by multiplying x of 0 and h of 0 it means that this equation is very well matching with the concept we have illustrated and similar will be the case if you go on putting n equal to 1 n equal to 2 etc etc just think about it in your free time in your free time Right after lecture gets over, this will give you that process we have just derived in the wording. And 
and this is equation of of convolution. So can I say now that equation of convolution is well capable to give you the output of system provided that input is known and impulse response is known? Say yes or no. Hello. Have you heard my question? Say yes or no. I am asking you that can I say that the equation of convolution is capable to predict about the output of system? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. So, Karyusha, just a name of it is a convolution. A convolution is a big, 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 so, our process name is Jeevan Namate. Equation of Jeevan. This is just a name. But this is matching with our concept. Right? So, it has proven now that convolution can give you the output of system. Convolution can be used to predict the output of system. And for the same, you need information about the impulse response. How system will behave. How system will produce the output for the application of an input. If you know this, you can find out the output of system for any given input. Do you agree with me? Say yes again if you do agree. Everybody. Yes, sir. Everybody. Yes, sir. This will be counted for, for, the, for your attendance. This will be counted for your attendance. So if you agree, say yes, or at least say no. Sir, please the last line repeat kijiye na. Kaun si line? मतलब last में आपने जो बोला कि last में मैंने ये बोला कि हम इस तरह से output लिख के individual contribution ढूंढने के बाद column wise summation करें बराबर या तो ये equation हम use करें दोनों के अंदर output same ही आता है मतलब कि Yejo equation, it is matching with the process we have think, we have assumed for finding out the response of the system. That's why equation of convolution is capable to predict or for predicting the output of the system. That's, that was my final statement given to you. So do you accept this one? Say yes or no. Yes, sir. So mm -hmm. other, yes, others will be yes, mark sir. absent. Other people will be mark absent. Right? Only two or three people have replied and, and I will be putting putting presence for them only. Either say yes or no. At least no. If if you say no, I will again prove it. Yes, sir. Manthan, what about you? Yes, sir. You did. Three number. Yes, sir. Number. Five number. Yes, sir. Five, five. Six number. Yes, so six sir. is absent. Okay. Nine number. Yes, sir. Hello. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Fifteen. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, sir. Fifteen. Now. Sixteen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Hello, hello. No, hello. Somebody, 35 has already replied. So, so next is 40. What about you? 40. Yes, sir. 44. Yes, sir. 46. Yes, sir. 49. Yes, sir. Yeah, 49 reply. 50. 
Yes, sir. And finally, D nineteen EE zero fifty two. Yes, sir. Okay, so we all agree that equation of convolution gives us the can give us the output of system, provided that impulse response is known to us. So as we have believed it, we have accepted it. We should be able to answer any questions related to it. And with this, I am finishing my today's talk. Let me take attendance, and then you may leave. Let me take the attendance. Now you may leave the meeting. <laughs>